Apple has threatened to remove services such as FaceTime and iMessage from the UK rather than weaken security features if new government proposals are enacted. The government is working on updating the 2016 Investigatory Powers Act, which could mean that it could require tech firms to clear new security features with the Home Office before they're released to customers. So how serious is this Apple threat? That's a question I asked our technology editor, Zoe Kleiman. If you go back to 2015 when it was being created, Apple was very vocal about it then and it's certainly coming out fighting now. The government's currently holding a consultation over these proposed amendments and Apple has submitted a nine-page document outlining its objections. And basically what it's saying is, you know, it is not fair on its customers around the West, rest of the world for it to have to get clearance from the UK before it releases a new security feature everywhere else. And it's also not fair to weaken its security for one country and not for others. It says it doesn't really want to be running different versions of its services in different countries. It doesn't do that at the moment and it's not going to start doing it now. So what it is saying is if these changes come in, rather than go down that route, it will just pull the services altogether. And do you think that's likely? I think two things would have to happen. I think, I think there's going to be a lot of uh, backlash against uh, these particular rules. You know, what we're focusing on is Already, the government, the Home Office in particular, has the power to demand that uh, a company uh, disables its encryption, its security, if it believes that there's a, an issue of national security or, or harm to children. But there's currently a process in which that has to be reviewed. There's a third party oversight process. There's an appeals process. And while all of that is going on, the tech firm doesn't have to act. It doesn't have to do anything. And this update wants to get rid of all of that. So from the moment you are served the notice, the tech firm, I should say, is served this notice saying we need to disable the security it has to do it straight away and that is what uh, Apple is saying if this comes in and if it is served such a notice it will just walk away and um, I don't know how seriously this is going to be taken. You know, it's, it's not something that's going to come in soon. It's certainly not something that's going to happen overnight. If you use FaceTime and iMessage, please don't panic. It's not going to disappear right now. But I think what we are starting to see, there's been a lot of regulation that's come the way of these tech firms from the UK government uh, particularly. And I think we are now starting to see these tech firms say, OK, you know, we have been reasonable, but you can't hold our product around the world. Uh, you, you know, you can't prevent us from, from doing what we want to do with our product around the world. Apple says security is an absolutely essential part of what it offers. It's what its customers come to us for, and it's not prepared to weaken. Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO Media family. Please like and share TAO Media. We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.